Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. And this is not the seven day review of um, Visible Wireless and my experience with them. But I did want to make this video to kind of just get everybody up to speed with as much information that I've gathered up about Visible Wireless. So you guys can kind of understand the motives behind this one year old service provider. Now, big question is that does Verizon own it? And yes, it does. But um, they operate themselves. So Verizon doesn't have too much of, you know, like a leash or a rope or anything to kind of pull. Uh, Visible is set to do their own thing. So they, they kind of run as if like they're their own standalone company. But they are owned by Verizon and they do utilize Verizon's 4G LTE network. So that's a very big thing that, um, again, I want to reiterate because I've made mention of this in previous videos. But I want to reiterate that. People kind of understand what to expect um, and what to know about them. Now, for Visible, I think one of the reasons that I've heard about them was their ad campaign where they bought storefronts and put this 404 um, error code sign on it, which basically their bold statement with that ad was they weren't intending on having any physical store locations. They weren't going to dump, you know, millions of dollars into um, opening up store locations all across the United States. And instead, they wanted to use that big chunk of money to invest in their infrastructure, their network, their grow their customer base. That's initially what they're doing. So with all that money that they could do, like what Boost Mobile and Cricket does, they're actually investing investing that money into consumers rather than into opening store locations. And so that's a that's a unique model because we don't have a lot of prepaid companies who think about doing stuff like that. They don't think about investing a large part of their money that they get and investing it into their consumers, you know, that's rarely seen. So it's a very big deal uh, and something that I do want to make mention that people should understand about Visible, which is why everything is done through the application. And really, when you kind of think about it, the whole entire setup with Visible is pretty much genius. Um, I'll have, you know, a screen, a screen record, screen grab up here for you guys to so see, but uh, Visible allows you to do everything um, from the app itself. And it's very simple to navigate through the app and it's very easy. You know, you sign up and create an account through the application itself. So you don't really have to go to visible.com unless you want to. You can do it from the app on the phone. Just download it, sign up for an account. Now, when you're in there, you can even shop and not just, you know, shop for a plan. There really is no plan to shop for because there's only one plan, $40 flat rate, unlimited talk, text, data, and mobile hotspot, flat out. So what does the shop section have? Well, it has this. So you have devices that you can buy from uh, Visible. And um, yes, a lot of them are iPhones. There's not a lot of Android devices. I'll explain that here. Well, we'll explain it. I'll give you guys a theory, okay? So um, when Visible first started, they really, they only had iPhones that were accepted in, into their into their services, right? If you wanted to bring your own device, it was an iPhone. If you wanted to purchase a device, it was an iPhone. Now, I'm an Android enthusiast, but I do understand, you know, where this business etiquette will come from. Um, so everything is app dependent, right? They want you to use their application to start up service, control your service, and shop for future devices and whatnot. So um, Android is super fragmented, okay? It, we know this. This is to be true, right? There's various different versions of Android. There's various different OEM makers. And those OEM makers, because Android is open source, they take the code of Android and then they go and they make it their own. And um, because they do this, uh, initially is why Android wouldn't be the, the, the best side to start on. Uh, with iOS, we know that um, Apple keeps a large chunk of their devices up to date and, you know, as a certain phone reaches its limitation and capacity, Apple will drop them off. Like recently, iOS 13 beta is out and it's been known and informed to a lot of consumers that uh, the, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus will not get iOS 13. That will be actually dropped down. So because of that, uh, it would make sense to kind of start off with iPhones because if you're you know, getting your app just right for consumers, because it's Putting an app together is not that easy. Uh, you got to make it appealing. You got to make people actually look at it and it aesthetically look good. Um, you know, optimizing it for iOS so much easier when a lot of devices 
run the same version of iOS versus on Android, everything is fragmented, right? So then you would have to optimize it for this and optimize it for that and optimize it for that. You know, you guys kind of see the pains here. So yeah, they started off on iPhone. So a lot of iPhones are supported when you go into the shop section. Now there are some Androids in there and I, I don't want to say it's beta, you know, but it, in a way it kind of feels like it just because, you know, they're, they're slowly rolling in more and more Android devices. And again, for a lot of people who are very nitpicky and expect companies to just Everything has to just be 100% perfect. Nothing is 100% perfect. It takes time to develop. If you want near perfection, you're going to take your time and develop everything. Not just an application, but everything. The whole business etiquette itself. You're going to want to take your time. So, yes, Android is in is in the mix. I'm using my Pixel 3a. My Pixel 3a has visible wireless, okay? So, um, but there will be more devices that are going to be supported over time. So, we just have to let them do their thing. And, of course, they're definitely going to tell us because they're not shy about ad campaigns and advertisement. I mean, right now, a lot of people are seeing a lot of their ads on various different social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can see ads for visible. Even Snapchat is running ads. Like, last night, I seen about three visible ads on Snapchat, which is kind of crazy um, because they were right after the uh, Moto Z4 Verizon ad. But, um yeah, these, these things you can expect. So you can shop for a device on their application. And um, if, say, you cannot spend $900 right up front for a device, but you can afford to pay like $35 a month, you have the option for the newer devices to actually finance them. Um, pre-owned or, yeah, just you know, pre-owned device, basically. Uh, refurbished, if you guys want to call it that. Um, if you're okay with a device like that, you can actually... Um, get one at a lower price, but with those those phones, you cannot finance them. You cannot finance them at all because they already have a huge markdown. So flat out, you can buy those, right? Um, and then there's the bring your own device, which they are currently, uh, you know, wanting to add more devices. Like you gotta understand, this is a business that obviously at the end of the day wants to make money. And the only way you're gonna make money is by coming as close. To what your 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 consumers are their feedbacks they take seriously so this is another thing that i'm going to point out too that if you currently are on visible wireless give as much feedback as possible because they really are listening okay they they really are i just gave my feedback in on some things and um they they took it they, they, they took they didn't implement it but they took my feedback and that's the thing that i want to tell people is that you know they won't know what you're looking for unless you open your mouth but yeah, and that's another thing too from the application is that they have a spot called Feature. Uh, when you go to this spot, you will see that mobile hotspot is there. But then there's all these different blank areas for features. And you can submit your ideas for certain features that you think that Visible should add to their services that would make them very competitive against other MVNO and prepaid companies. And so that's pretty cool that they actually leave a spot for you to give feedback on certain features and things you may want that would... Um, you know, other people may agree with and that they would implement. So your voice is heard with them. Um, but yeah, bring your own devices, expect more down the road. I'm going to say that right now. I've given my feedback on that. Uh, and there will be more. You, you, you just, you can't think that this is all they're going to have. You can't sit there and, and like really think realistically the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus and Pixel devices is all they're going to be able to support, you know. Because there's people who love LG, there's people who love HTC, there's people who love Huawei. And eventually I feel like that down the road in the future, it'll just completely open up to, you know, to Android where you can swap uh, you know, to a different Android device and not have to worry about compatibility as long as it meets the criteria of like, you know, the, the uh, latest versions of Android and um, specifications and whatnot. So um, really that's all that I wanted to kind of throw out there right now for you guys. Um, and then I'll have the seven day review video of like my experiences with visible wireless and how it's been working out for me. I can tell you guys for a little, little sneak peek, it's been great. It's absolutely been great. And, um, also, uh, anything that comes along, that's a major announcement, um, subscribe to the channel. So you guys won't miss that. Um, I will definitely tweet that out too as well. So follow me on Twitter. If there's anything that I'm going to share with you guys, that's like major for you guys to know about, not only just with visible, but just, you know, news wise and mobile tech. Um, I will always make mention of it on Twitter before I put the video together or live stream it. So, 
Uh, that's it for right now, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you guys have feedback for Visible, because if you're a Visible customer and you have feedback, you can also put it in the comment section of the video so that way they can get it to, you know, as well. And other people who might have some input can also help you out. Uh, so subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell option to know when I upload a video so you guys don't miss an episode. And as always, while my son is awake right now, morning. <laughs> I gotta go. Talk to y'all later. Aloha.